Welcome back to the Fire 15 Player Series presented by TrueCar. Tamo was one of the um, uh, the biggest competitors I've I've known. Uh, he's one of those guys that. Um, you love having them on your team and you hate playing against them. Yeah, there are a few players MLS has ever had that uh, made as much of a difference as, as Blanco. I think just the ability he had to change a game and do things uh, on the ball, hitting a free kick, uh, helping out with an assist or scoring an amazing goal. Everybody talks about how good of a passer he was and, and his flair and everything, which, you know, made him the player that he was. But for us, he also gave us an outlet and he would slow the game down for us. He could hold the ball and hold guys off or get a foul and kind of let us get out of that defensive shell that we dropped into and in uh, the years that he was here that was very important for our team. When he was in the game I always felt comfortable that no matter how the game goes we are going to come up on top and um, that's the, someone that can create moment of magic any time during the course of the game. Uh, just a joy to play with. I mean, he uh, he didn't come here, uh, you know, on vacation to retire. He came here to win, and it wasn't just about Saturdays. It was every single day, and uh, you know, he also had a fantastic personality. He was always laughing in the locker room and keeping things light, and those those kind of things are important for uh, you know camaraderie and, and growing things together. And, When I think about Marco, I just think uh, spectacular. Uh, he's a guy that I've seen few players with the fire, few players in MLS that were capable of scoring some of the goals that, that Marco Papa was able to. You know, I think uh, the big thing about uh, Marco is he brought a ton of energy and this youthfulness. Um, you know, just this passion for the game, um, always a smile on his face, and uh, incredibly, incredibly talented. And it was just. Uh, a blessing to to see him uh, grow as a player and as a person, and you know, come in as a as a teenager and and grow uh, to a point where he's now playing in, in in Europe, which is just fantastic. Marco just had the ability to to dribble and uh, hit a hit a good free kick. Uh, had great vision of the field. I think some once in a while people would be disappointed in his play if he had an off night because you knew how spectacular he could be too, but. He, uh, he had a lot of speed, he, he could beat players on the dribble and, and uh, never seen someone hit some of the balls that, uh, that he's hit. He's extremely fearless. Um, he knows, he believes in his ability and um, as we all know what ability he has and he never shies away from that. Extremely talented, extremely skillful, worked so hard and um, always wanted to win too. Um, Lubos came to Chicago, you know, with an unbelievable uh, track record of, of European soccer, um, playing for the national team of Czechoslovakia. And all. Um, you know, Lubos wasn't the most vocal guy, but he he spoke worlds with his talent. One of the best players I've ever played it, play with. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about even when I played in Europe. He his left foot, you know, his his awareness on the field. Uh, he, he literally he was a center back and he he would be making people in <laughs> in our own box. And Lubos was just uh, the coolest guy under pressure, just very composed, uh, just a, just very easy. Really, never you can never you know. Not, which Peter was the opposite, I would say. You know, Peter almost when you saw him, you you think like he had like a triple shot of espresso. You know, always on the go. And Lubos was just so calm. You know, you just uh, just so good with the ball under pressure. You can just you can give him the ball with three guys on him, and he would just would never lose it. He would always find the right solution, even as calm as he was. He, believe me, he was a very competitive guy, and one guy that just hated to lose. You know, but uh, you could never you never saw this. You know, with Peter, he wore his emotions always on on his face, and uh, you know, Lubos was just a, the calmest guy that. <laughs> 
You know, sometimes I would have to check his heartbeat to see if he had one. So he made things look easy the way he played, um, and, and for that, you know, I'll always hold a, a special place for the, the championship teams we had. Um, he was a, just a huge part. Stay tuned to Chicago-Fire.com for future installments of the Fire 15 players as we lead up to the club's 15th anniversary match on October 3rd at Toyota Park.